Hey, have you ever wondered what you need to look for when purchasing an appliance? Well, let me give you an example. When I was younger, uh, my dad used to take us to the Dairy Queen. And when you got there, you had your choice of vanilla cone, a vanilla cone, or vanilla cone, the choice is relatively easy. You go to the Dairy Queen today, and you can see there's many more choices on the menu. Well, it's like that with appliances, too. They come in all shapes and sizes. You really need to do your homework before you buy one. Now, an example of this is what I refer to as standard size appliances, the dishwasher, the range, and the micro hood. And these are standard sizes because no matter what brand you buy, they're all the same. And that's because they have to build, fit in to a built-in cabinet space. And that space doesn't change, so each one is manufactured to the same size. Whereas your non-standard sizes, your washer, dryer, and refrigerator, they come in all shapes and sizes and they can usually fit anywhere since they're free standard or freestanding. So then we have uh, different colors to choose from. When I first started working on appliances 30 years ago, Poppy, which is like a reddish orange was popular, then it went to Copper Tone, then Avocado Green, Harvest Gold, Almond, Bisque, White, Black, and now stainless steel is the current color so again it's up to you you have many choices to go and will one color go with the other one and then when we're talking about refrigerators uh, there's four different kinds there's top mount bottom mount side by side and french door each has their advantages and disadvantages the top mount is what we all grew up with where the freezer is on the top and the refrigerator is on the bottom and this is the most popular one for many years but its disadvantage is although it's got a good size freezer, you need to bend over to get to the crisper all the time and you're always in the refrigerator a lot more than you are in the freezer and that's what gave rise to the bottom mount where the manufacturers put the freezer on the bottom, refrigerator on top. Now you don't got to bend over so much but these are less energy efficient so they have their drawbacks. The next is the side by side which we have right here and its biggest drawback although you think you have more freezer space if you look at the door here it isn't very wide. In fact, the usable space on the inside is even less. So imagine you want to put a frozen turkey, a frozen pizza, things like that in your freezer, and you find out what it don't fit. Well, in that case, you better have a chest freezer you want to put them in. Also, the ice maker in these takes up quite a bit of space, so you really don't have a lot of usable freezer space. Their biggest advantage is right here, and that you get water and ice in the door. Now, the French door refrigerator which is the newest kind of the market the freezers in the bottom but instead of having one big door on top you got two doors which pull out and they seem to be the best of both worlds because the freezers in the bottom plus you can get ice and water in the door plus some manufacturers even actually put an ice maker in the bottom as well as the top of course they're also the most expensive and finally what you want to consider is service after the sale in the event the unfortunate event that your appliance breaks down during the warranty or even after the warranty, uh, most retailers who you buy appliance nowadays don't have a service department so you need to find out who it is uh, that services the appliances in your area so again in the unfortunate event that something breaks down you're able to have somebody repair it you don't have to go out and purchase a new one. So these are just some of the considerations you need to make when purchasing an appliance.